Gutters Collective. Back at it, you already know. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh, and another one. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Like a mother. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Like a mother. Back at it. Fire guard. Fire guard. Fire. <laughs> you guys like when I say that, huh? One more time. Watch out. One time for your mentality. Guard. You don't have to thank me. <laughs> you just have to pay me. Now, trip out as you can tell by the thumbnail right there. Oh, then that's the King Little G. The King. I'm the king of the world. Order the Titanic is sinking. I'm at sake. King Little G, Miss Visoto. Now, now something's brewing. Orale, homes. What Pac say? You ain't even on my level. I'm going to let my little homies deal with you. <laughs> Man. Now, trip out. When all this stuff happened between King Little G, Conejo, um, well, shout out to G Brads. Man, I love his music. Uh, that boy, uh, 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 ain't nothing like them summer nights. Little Rob. Now, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a perspective. Hey, you know, the younger generation, it seems, and most of the women were like, Orale, King Little G, Sucio. You know what I mean? They were all on that. Um, and I understand. You know, I understand that, 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 you know, having the looks and having the bread and all that and having the jewelry and having the highness, you know, the blah, 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 I'm shaking, I ain't mad at you, I love your videos. Now, you're the king of the videos, believe that. The highness are doing their thing. But when it first came out and, and, and Cornejo made an honest, you know, uh, opinion on who he thought the king of Chicano rap was, of course, King Lil G jumped in the mix and decided that for no other reason he was going to voice his opinion that he was the king. Now, you know, money doesn't make you, homie. Money makes you comfortable, then you get caught slipping. You know, that's an old saying that an OG told me before. I said, hey, homie, I'm having bread. He says, yeah, well, you're going to end up dead. I said, well, well, you got, well, damn, well, we have to go to zero to 100. Guard, right? He said, because money, having money makes you comfortable, homeboy. And being comfortable is why you get caught slipping. I said, damn, you ain't lying, huh? And so I always knew no matter how much bread you have or what you're doing, man, act like you ain't got nothing. Dirt bag, right? Hence, gun gun. Bang, bang. I ain't got no money um, ever, even when I got a couple dollars. Um, now, trip out. King Little G is feeling some type of way. Gornejo expressed. He expressed. He doubled back and said, hey, trip out. King Little G, homes, you have that. That is you. The crown is yours. If you need that and you want that, if you really honestly feel that way, Orale, Holmes, I'm in a whole different lane and a whole different level doing what I does. He's a grown man. He's on his grown man height. He has no time to indulge in frivolous wordplay back and forth and to indulge in something that can become bigger. You know, and I've spoken on that. A lot of people did. But Miss Vesoto got time, cuz. Now, Miss Vesoto signed to SKM, um, so I'm sure he feels, you know, it necessary and he feels righteously uh, that, that he has a mouth, a, a, a voice and opinion. And I'm going to say this, man. Damn, King Little G. I don't know if you're ready for no Miss Soto, I say. You know? Now, Miss Soto is slept on down south in Southern California. Now, those that know, know. And those that don't, know now. You know, this Voto made... I wouldn't even call it a diss track. I hate to say diss tracks because people take the word dissing and they feel like it's disrespect. I'm going to take it more as a I'm going to let it be known track. He let it be known that there were certain situations between you and himself that went awry. He let it be known that there were certain situations that he didn't quite agree with you with, King Little G. He let it be known, homeboy, that he's there and he's a force to be reckoned with. Now, being from SKM, I could only think, and this is my honest perspective and opinion, so watch a show, sitting back, I said, oh, he stepped up the game, homes. He said it. He's like, if you want to get to G-Rabs, you got to go through me first. You know what I mean? I ain't even going to trip on you, motherfucker. Man, I'm going to let my little homies ride on you. You know what I mean? That's hit him up, take money. Orale. Um, now, I understand and I know deep in my heart of hearts, two things are going to happen, gente. One, either King Little G is going to come out with a track harder than rocks, harder than, you know what I mean, harder than Piera, or he's going to feel superior to Miss Vizotta and say, this is not even on my level, I'm not even going to respond. Okay? 
It's rap music. It's generating income, getting that bag. Now, you can have a big old bag, but why not get a bigger one? You know what I mean? There's always a bigger bag. Hey, so good. Hey, do you guys, when I go to the store, hey, my, 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 no, my, hey, my Lego, my Egos are not going to fit. Can I get a bigger bag? You know what I mean? I need a bigger bag. You know, so I feel comfortable, more comfortable, um, but aware. Now, trip out. Um, King Little G, we're going to see in the next coming days if he comes back with the diss. I was talking to a homeboy this morning, and I was like, nah, he's coming back hard, bro. He's coming back hard because he's going to feel some type of way. Um, and and the world is waiting on it. Of course. As rap, hip-hop, Southern California, Northern California, brown fans, you know what I mean? As people that we listen, of course we're waiting. You know, Miss Pesota came out the cuts with that one and tow King Lil G apart. You know what I mean? Now... I know King Little G obviously has a bone to pick, it seems like, with Conejo. For one reason or another. I don't understand why. Look, honest opinion here. Just my opinion. And shout out to King Little G. Respects, Holmes. You're not on Conejo's level, Holmes. Maybe with money, fame, looks, all that. You got that. You're going to have that. Go ahead. Rub that in your... You rub it all over your chest. You can have that. But when it comes to rapping, the, the flavor, the vibe, the way it comes out... In my opinion, you are not there concerning G Rap. It's just different, homes. Spensa, Alatira, he's been doing this since the 80s, I say. Do you understand? Vatos were getting killed up in Northern California to his music. I'm just saying. No, it was, it was different. That was during the 90s era. Spensa, the wind was blowing. You better ask somebody, right? Um, but I understand that King Lil G is that one down in the Los area. I understand his music goes, and I've listened to it. And, and it does. It does. I'm very impressed with a lot of his cadences, a lot of his deliveries, a lot of his music. But at the end of the day, man, I'm going to give my opinion on who I think's better. And I said uh, G-Rabbit's on a different level. Now, King Little G, I'm sure, is sitting somewhere stewing and upset right now because it seems like Vatos are coming at him. He's like, hey, I do my own thing. I don't need Vatos to back my play. Hey, Guanajo doesn't need Vatos to back his play either. But in order to get to the king, I say you have to go through the princes. Right? That's what it is. Have you ever seen the movie The Princess Bride? Orderly, in order to get through the guy, then you have to go through fucking Andre the Giant. You know what I mean? You understand what I'm saying? There's always going to be obstacles you have to go through if you want to be that one. It's called the struggle, homeboy. You can't just get everything handed to you and it be all on a platter just because you look cute or something, you know? Because you have a little money or because the hyenas are, you know, trying to, they want you or because there's even some vatos that probably want you. I don't know. But at the end of the day, one thing I do know is for sure, right? You have to do it on Cora, on word of mouth, you have to strive. You have to use what got you to that level. You have to go back. You have to go back and learn again. Be more man than him. You have to get the eye of the tiger. Because what you don't understand, and I'm going to give you the game. Meanwhile, while you're over there, nah, and, and, and you know, Cornejo sits there and says, hey, man, you you go ahead and have that, bro, humbly. You know, I appreciate you, and 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 you, you got that, homes. You got that. And then you're like, yeah, I know I got that. You know, yeah, I am the king. Recognize it. And this is not because basically in so many words, that's what the wee lie that you put out there looked like. You know, yeah, I know. Like basically like he bowed down to you. Have you ever seen the movie Tax Collector? Say? That about was in the back corner somewhere in a closet doing the, give me the power, I beg of you. Hey, this ain't no move. This is a damn earthquake, homie. Okay, when you mess with someone on a level like that, I already know. I bet you, hey, Palabra, Pisha, and this is me, right? I bet you Rabbit already done has about 10 songs written on you, ready just to go, right? That's just me just knowing that type of character he is, just me knowing the type of individual he is from a distance, eh? Have you never met the Atta? We didn't kick him. We never broke bread like Jesus said. You know what I mean? Um, but one thing I do know is for sure is he comes from that 80s, 90s mentality, bro. Are you, are you kidding me? Mentality? You know, humble, humble, stay in your lane. Do his own thing. But at the end of the day, I say, you got a ski mask I could borrow? You know what I mean? Late night creep. Without shh, too much said. Fill me up with unlead. You under feel me? Uh, now, one thing is for sure, and this is a fact. King Little G is going to come out with a diss album. He, or or a, uh, a rebuttal to Misfit Soto. Now, Misfit Soto is a very slept on artist, gente. If you haven't been listening to this Vato, shout out some respects to him. I've seen him on Tony A's channel where he says, oh, I like Gunner. Gunner's cool, right? Um, I respect that. You know, just because you're not from a barrio or you're not from a certain gang or you're not from this or that doesn't mean you could be a resident and have all the respect, homes. It's about rap music. 
It seems like this is becoming bigger than rap, though. It's becoming camp versus camp, and that's how everything starts. Death Row Bad Boy. Tupac Biggie. No more, no more. You want to settle the score, C4 at your door, no waffles, no more, right? And it, it gets ugly. But it looks like the, the camps are starting to feel the heat and the tension. And like Misfits said, hey, Holmes, you're going to have to go through me first. Okay, now that um, coming from Misfits Soto is basically a blessing. Because I'm going to be totally honest with you, man. We had something on Mine and Dub's channel where we bumped 10 songs of Conejo. If you were tuned in, uh, thank you. If you didn't, you missed out. We bumped 10 songs of Conejo, uh, some of his greatest hits. We bumped 10 songs of King Little G, some of his greatest hits. And we let the people speak on it. Hey, you know where we stand, Holmes. Brown. You know, we let the we all we were the winners, the brown people. It wasn't about winners or losers, but we let the people speak on it. We kind of gauged the chat just to see what the people wanted or where the people were at with this. You know, um, and it was overwhelmingly on Conejo's side. I think from the very first song. Now, that doesn't mean that King Little G doesn't have it because obviously he has way more money than I'll ever have. And you got some man, I ain't like in it, and it kind of like that. I don't know. You know what I mean? You see that hand over there? She's got a big one. And she's going to continue to have a big one. And King Little G's hitting her. So he's the winner, right? I'm not going to deny that. You know, like Tupac, I can't deny it. But one thing I can say is when it comes to the rap game, there's some rappers that are just better than others. It doesn't mean anything, bro. Do you think when Corrupt was chilling with Tupac, he didn't understand the situation there? You were going to be on side B on an essay corrupt. Even though you corrupt good, that's the side you're going to be on. Right? Pac is going to be on the A side. You're on the B side. He he understood that. It's situational things that go on. Now, Chicano rap. That's what this all boils down to is Chicano rap. Dead. What's up with Chicano rap? Let's put Chicano rap on the map. What are they? No such thing, really. To be honest with you, it's just a label someone put on it. Chicano rap. It's just some Chicanos rapping, homie. When I say, hey, I'm going to bump Chicano rap, I don't... In my mind, it doesn't compute, you know, because I'm from Northern California. So when I said you kind of rap, I'm up Speedy Loke and Woody and shit. You know what I mean? That didn't mean. But I'm saying on some real stuff, um, I don't look at these individuals as Chicano rappers. I just look at them as Chicanos that rap. I don't look at my channel as a prison channel. I look at it as a vault that's been in prison that has a channel. You know, there's certain ways to wiggle around in certain ways. But however you cut it and paste it, um, it is what it is. It's up to the people to decide. It, Go! I said the people. What the? For the people, by the people, not you. It's up for the people to decide. Get behind me. <laughs> get behind me, right? If they're going to get behind you or they're going to be in front of you or they're going to rock simultaneously side by side like a real soldado does beside you. Now, a lot of people are choosing sides. Once that starts to happen, that's when you feel forced to act out upon feelings. That's when you feel forced to hold it down because you feel like all eyes on me. Order the pot. Like, all eyes are looking at you. Like, people are expecting you to do something. Like, if King Little G isn't getting phone calls and people aren't like, hey, did you hear what Mr. Soto said? Yeah, I heard what he said. Damn, that auto goes hard, huh? Man. Yeah, I'm in, the, I'm in the booth right now. That auto's in the booth. He was in the booth since last night, I bet. I, I wasn't even there. I'm not even the cucaracha right there on his ground. But I guarantee if I was, two things would have, be happening. I'd be looking at all the high notes like, damn, you're doing it like this, King Little G. Pants are no step on me. And the second thing would be like, look at the auto's in the booth already. I knew it. I knew it. When Mr. Soto came out, and Miss Miss Soto stopped the song halfway through and said, man, I'm going too easy. Let me go harder. <clears throat> the wind blew. It was at that point in time, I knew it was going to become much larger than it already has become. You know, I think the best course to take here is keep it musically inclined. Keep it to the music, not to the streets. Don't take it there, man. You know, we don't need um drama you know i know people like to watch it and see it but those are the very that's the minority there man we don't need uh uh, uh young kings man i'm gonna say everybody you know i think mr salt is a king of the rap game and his and his element on his lane i believe king little g is one of the kings coming out of the lost area man rapping for his people as well as dopey baldacci Conejo, you know what I mean? Little one. I mean, this goes on and on and on and on. Grifo and, and, and Weirdo and, and Drummer Boy, man. He's, he's, he's you know, that, that's the king. That's, but I mean, we're just going to say some other stuff, right? Um, There's so many Vatos that are good rappers. And then in Northern California, man, with the floodgates open, you know, it's, it's just crazy. It's craziness when it comes to this rap game right now. Um, Great brown rappers, man. Rappers doing their thing. Um, So all this, oh, I hold the crown. I'm the king. Hey, did the mayor give you the key to the city? I said, 
you know, sprinkle the woods. The woods are like, we don't care who is the king or the queen or none of that. <laughs> Just give us the money. You know what I mean? Straight up. And the coffee. We'll take a bag of tasters. I'm telling you, that's how it is. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You can put any label, twist and turn you want on it. I'm the king of this. I'm the king of that. I'm the king of this. I'm the king. Hey, the people don't recognize you as such. Ain't no one going to bow down in your presence. You know, hey, you're a great rapper, sir. We appreciate that. Thank you. Keep making, making bangers so we can bump as we're cruising with our hand and getting a mamon. The winners are us. We win. You know, and you win by getting a little feria. And, and, and I ain't no one mad at no one. Um, but with when you're playing with fire, you're going to get burnt. You know, when Conejo says, hey, bro, Benson, okay, you took my words wrong. It's all good, eh? You know what I mean? You know, uh, 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 you could have the crowns. You could have all the fake titles. You could have all that. Hey, um, respects to you and yours. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get up out the way and take care of my, my, my family and my things I got going on. You know, all my business ventures I got because I'm trying to make money. When he does that as a grown man and does it civil and humbly, um, bro, you can't do nothing but respect an individual like that. Someone that comes from the streets, the gut is the slump. The, rah, you already know is with that activity and with the program. You know, he don't has nothing more to prove to anyone. Anyone that doesn't know, well, then I guess you never will, man. But this man, this man has been doing it, you know, on a street level and in a booth level. He's just giving you the the, the best he can. Um, but when you got the vote that says, okay, all right, I see you, bro. Respect that. But there always has to be a but. But you know I'm still the king, right? You know. And however he worded it and tried to twist it and turn it, this ain't the morning show. You are not the father. This is some real life stuff. This is the real stuff, right? Eat it, eat it. I hate when people try to twist and turn things and be like, like they're trying to punk you still or trying to, you know, show everyone that they're that one. Um, but at the same time, be a hypocrite and be like, no, nah, it's all good, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He better bow down. You know what I mean? Come on now. We don't get down. So Miss Fisoto di did what he did. Okay. And Miss Fisoto, hey, this is from me to you, King Luke. I'm not saying I'm not speaking for the people here. I'm not saying, but I did get a lot of phone calls. I, see. I did get a lot of phone calls, right? Hey, Miss Fisoto done tell your ass up, boy. You know what I mean? You better step your game up. Because that auto came through and you know, see that auto over there, Miss Bisoto? You turn your ass up. And it's gonna continue to turn your ass up if you try to compete. Now, like I said, two things are gonna happen. Either the Vato's gonna come back at him like a pit bull terrier, ain't nothing scarier, or he's just gonna say, Hey bro, you're not on my level. Um, let's keep it correct, Tempted. Let's keep it cool. Let's not elaborate and push this into something that's not and take it to the guy is because that's not the route we wanna go. You know, I talked to a certain individual that talked to a certain individual last night. And, uh, you know, like I said, man, there's 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 things going on behind the scenes in anybody's rap game, man, that could be that close to blowing a bomb up, right? That could be that, that close to setting off a powder cake that nobody wants. Nobody needs that. You know, let's keep it G. Let's keep it real G, you know. But just knowing what I know and being the type of person I am, like I said, if you think everybody doesn't have one in the chamber, if you think everybody's not been in the booth yet and has songs ready to go, then you're gravely mistaken, man. It seems like in this instance, man, King Little G just bit off a little bit more than he could chew. And now you got Mr. Soto involved? Spence on Atira. That's one individual. If I was a rapper, I wouldn't want to go heads up within the rap booth in the rap game. Because that author right there is, he's hard, man. He's definitely hard. Anyways, with that being said, we'll see how it all plays out. Is is King Little G, let me know in the comments. Is King Little G going to come out with some, some heat? You know, because up to this point, all he's came out with is uh, TikToks. And, or is Miss Fisolta going to just keep going in and antagonizing the situation and tearing his butt up? I don't know. But at the end of the day, Conejo's sitting in the back like, this is a damn earthquake. Give me the power. Do we, Dave, I done my life. I was in the back. He was nailing people. I, I know it's just a movie, I said, but if you know Conejo like you should know Conejo, man, <laughs> I ain't too far off. With that being said, I'll that you move smooth with a purpose. I'll that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about struggling and start, uh, striving for your familia. Doing the right thing, man. Remember, it's just rap music, I say. It's just rap music, man. Don't take it there. You know, we don't need all that. Um, if you like this, please hit that like and subscribe with a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears Gunner's crown. It's going to stay right here. See, I'm going to have mine, King Lil G. You have yours in the rap game? I'm going to have mine on YouTube. Bang, bang. I'm going to continue to do what I does. Whether I got more subscribers or not, I, I'm just doing me. You know, I'm the king of my castle, of my realm. No disrespect to anyone else. Everyone else is doing their thing. I'm not better than anyone else. I'm not less than. Guess what I am? I'm the gun. Bang, bang. 
I'm here to bring all people together. That's what I've been trying to do. I'm going to struggle and strive for what I truly believe in, man. And that's brown people. Shout outs, respects to King Little G, Miss Vesoto, Cornejo, Little Rob. Because ain't nothing like these winter nights. Underneath the gun. Bang, bang. And in that fashion.